South Haymarket is a part of town that's been getting some love lately. Formerly, it was a hub of heavy industry. Now it's becoming more residential. A lot of changes, and tonight city leaders put on a culinary event under the Rosa Parks Way Viaducts, commemorating the opening of Star City's Food Truck Zone. 1011's John Grinvalds had the chance to see what they were cooking up this evening. The lines have been steady and long at the Star City's brand new food truck zone. Hundreds of hungry Lincolnites crammed into the area behind me to try food from a half a dozen different food trucks, breathing new life into this part of the South Haymarket. From the steaming bellies of food trucks to lines snaking through the streets, the inaugural event in the Lincoln Food Truck Zone made space for exchanges between customer and owner, between citizen and leader. Improvements to make this possible. The food truck business can be a bumpy road. It's as much fun as I've ever had in a kitchen. Um, it's some of the most miserable times I've ever had in a kitchen because it's a you know 200 degree shoebox. But but uh, it, it is really just a lot of fun. But the, the direct interaction with customers. Tonight, those eager interactions meant some of the trucks were sold out long before the event was over. Food truck owners tell me it wasn't easy dealing with ordinances that were unprepared for their enterprise. But now, with this new zone and increased public access for trucks, Lincoln has become a home to dozens of them. What food trucks have access to now as opposed to where they did four or five years ago has been you know, a pretty awesome experience to be a, a small part of that. For the first time, this stretch of shadowed industrial city Three, two, one. Let's go. glowed with colored light. We reimagined this space that was just bridges, darkness, and we are bringing it to light, literally, and to life with all the folks who have showed up tonight. And there will be more development near here in the coming years as plans for the sizable South Haymarket Park go forward. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011 News.